Howdy ho, it's Surich here. There was a, oh, you can't, you can't see my face. This will be a faceless stream, I guess. Faceless stream for a faceless crowd. Uh, just kidding, you have a face. I do too, holy. Okay, so we got an Alola egg to hatch here. I'm in Laguna Beach. Stunfisk, regular Stunfisk, uh, Unovin, Unovin Stunfisk. Check its stats out. So uh, I'm in Laguna Beach, um, nice three star here. Um, last time I was here was with my most recent ex and, uh, and her friend. I have three super incubators here, so we might as well just go nuts, right? I mean, I know they're just 2k, oh, this is a, it's one three use one. I, uh, I completed the mysterious encounter. I, sh I knew I should have brought my Pokeball Plus here. Look at that, that's nuts. The activity here is insane. So, uh, we'll check the Lily. Oh, we're doing AR mode, I guess. I just edited my uh, <laughs> my review of this app um, in the Google Play Store. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, oh, I got a Great Ball. Oh, okay, that's, in do they, they must have changed to what you get there. Anyway, so here's my Mew that I just got. Um, I brought it out to play yesterday, but I'm not going to do it again. <sighs> We're already here. Um, it's I guess it's good. It'll follow me around. You all can see Mew on the over map as it's following me around. And you can see the surroundings here. That's kind of neat. So it's, uh, it's pretty popping here. Uh, give it a golden Raz because it's Mew. It's special. Even though I have three now <laughs> across all my Pokemon games. Um, I have two in Sword. One's a careful nature, and that was from the Pokeball Plus. Um, let's take a picture of me with the with all of the lights and stuff. I like that. I like that. Um, I'm gonna share that for sure. Let's see. I think now it'll let me share it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't. That's kind of. Uh, I don't know. We should take another one. I think. Or. Okay. I guess you can't take it. I might have to share it later. It's on my phone though. So me and Mew are good buddies, that's cool. Um, so we got Mew on the over map. Oh, you can, you can still take pictures, that's kind of neat. You just have to play. So, uh, let's see. If I could get a good shot, like that's not too dark, maybe if I walk a little closer to where I was pointing the camera at but yeah Laguna Beach is awesome it's a Monday night it's 9 10 p.m. and uh, the activity here is pretty great it's almost like it's a weeknight it's like a weekend night it's pretty sweet so uh, I think this is a better yeah this is a better kind of area to take a picture at Still a lot of kind of quarantine stuff but oh well like there's that sign up ahead you see the road closed or whatever use Park Avenue I don't know what that means but uh, whatever. Let's take a shot here. There we go. Just as the light turned green, we got a picture. So, all right. Well. So now we go back, and then it lets us uh, upload to Twitter or whatever. I usually just do Twitter. Hashtag go snapshot. So where's Twitter? Where's Twitter? You can do Facebook. You can do... Uh, see if Twitter there we go tweet hashtag go snapshot and I guess technically this is still part of the Pokemon go like stream because uh... okay so I think that worked all right uh, right yeah okay so I think that worked all right cool so we got some play with Mew and so many stops and stuff here I don't even know what to do Look at that Squirtle. What's up with that? It has some kind of special hat that I missed. Really? There was some kind of Yamask top hat? That's... I didn't know that existed. Wow. Pokemon Go always has things that I didn't know existed. Uh, AR mode is on. All right. I don't think I... don't remember turning that on. But... Got a blue gym and a red gym here. So, uh... This uh, this stream is part of my moving on series. I think you might be able to see me now if I uh, 
Yeah, kind of. Eh. I mean, yeah, okay. Now, now you can with the lighting like this. So this is my uh, moving on stream. I'm kind of visiting some places that my last girlfriend and I went to and hung out. And uh, Laguna Beach was one of them. I didn't stream here, though. Um, I'm not visiting places where we hung out and I streamed at the same time. So that includes Santa Barbara. That includes... Um, where else? Holy. How are we getting so many items? Is that... Oh, we got the seven-day streak there. Okay. That probably explains that. So, uh, main beach exchange club. Let's see. Got a lot of gifts to collect here. Five total, I think. Yeah, five. Cool. Cool. So, yeah, um, curious about this update, but otherwise, I didn't come here. I came here for the moving on from relationship, not the, uh, not the, uh, not for anything Pokemon Go specific uh, in terms of events, but I saw a bunch of people walk out of a store here and it's like they're all in cluster, so clearly at the beach areas, people tend to not take social distancing as seriously because um, want the, the UV light hypothesis and uh, areas with higher levels of UV or like sunlight in this case. Um, you know, you, uh, I mean, I mean, the, the hypothesis is that it kills viruses like COVID, sunlight, so that's why I've been, uh, I haven't stopped going outside since COVID began, but I have been, uh, choosing areas more carefully on that basis. So going to beach areas, um, going to parks. Oh, Polly got a shiny Alolan executor. That was awesome looking. Um. I want to check that out. Holly has excellent shiny luck. I know her um, through other venues. And okay, it just shows the arc in there. Yeah, that looks awesome. Shiny Alolan Executor. Someone in a Discord chat said they th they think I would like it. And yeah, I do like that. Shiny Executor. It's like golden. Um, so there's Paris here. There's just too many stops. I really should have. Pokeball Plus would have been clutch here. Pokeball Clutch. That'd be the name of the stream if I brought it, but oh well. Um, yeah, this is kind of crazy. Okay, so I'm on the strip now that I was like hanging out at last time I was here. So that's kind of a, uh, we can uh, upload something to this gym. Let's see, this gate hangs well, that's kind of cool. A well hung gate, I like that. Uh, we can't, we can't upload anything here. It's already full. Oh well. So. I, uh, last time I was here, we uh, visited like a hotel by the beach and uh, that was, uh, it was like we went to a rooftop bar and uh, I left my water bottle here, over there. I left it and so we went back to get it. Luckily, they still had it. Um, I just broken a similar bottle like earlier, so that was kind of nice. But uh, let's see. Last time we went on the beach, which should be uh, I could have accessed it behind me, but I kind of want to go up and down this street because this is a nice street. We got some ice cream here last time I was here, and uh, yeah, it was pretty nice. So I think I could just walk. It's not even. The lights like not changing so pick up some uh stops hopefully get some gifts thai buddha that sounds good is that a restaurant I haven't had dinner or anything i've uh i guess like most people i've been on a kind of weird uh like i don't know what to call it schedule maybe during quarantine and just like ha certain habits are a bit weird right now of mine like I'm sleeping in, I'm sleeping a lot. I'm sleeping like 12 hours a night, basically. Um, last night was even more than that, so that was kind of ridiculous. So. Nice Charmander right there, check it out. Fish bench, it's kind of cool. Getting, getting some good giftage here. 
see. Maybe we'll pass the ice cream shop I ate at last time I was here. But uh, there's a really sweet mural here. I think that was the stop. No, it wasn't. But uh, here I can point to it. I think you should be able to see it. There's a Tepig on the map. Yep, you can see that mural. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? Um, yeah, Tepig. I just evolved up to Embor yesterday. You can check that stream out. I should start linking to my own videos. I need to figure out how to do that. If you know how to do it, please call, tell me. <laughs> um, I'll have to look it up though. Can't be that hard. I mean. Getting texts and stuff. Maybe this is a Charmander area. It's kind of cool. Forget yesterday where I was, was uh, there were a good amount of tepigs, and uh, there was something else though that was appearing a lot. Okay, so yeah, this is where I was. Last time I was here, I ate across the street here at uh, what, what was this restaurant called? Pretty sure it was one of these ones. I think so. Or, or all the plazas here look the same. That's plausible. So, let's see what just appeared. Was that a Cyndaquil I thought I saw? Parasect? That's kind of interesting. Its cry has definitely changed over the years. Um, drowsy. Yeah, like all the restaurants are open here, huh? I can, I can smell it. It smells so good. I could eat there. I didn't bring my mask, though. But it's like, how are you supposed to eat with a mask on anyway? I don't know. So, uh... Yeah, I mean, for anyone else who's been through, like, a breakup, I think, uh... I'm starting to kind of, like, figure out... Now that this is my god, what, what number of breakup, like... First second, third, it's been like over five breakups or at least five breakups. Um, and so what I'm kind of finding is it's good to uh, like live for yourself more, not in a selfish way, but in a way that's like kind of taking ownership over your experience and uh, kind of saying, you know, hey, maybe I would have come here anyway by myself, right? Not just because of, not just uh, as a function of the relationship. Um, or being together with a person. So. And uh, I had the thought on my way here, it's like an hour away from where I'm staying, and I had the thought that like, when you capture certain experiences, like through video, um, can uh, pictures, I don't know, I personally tend to feel like I have more ownership over those experiences. It's kind of kind of interesting phenomenon. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm not trying to universalize that. I'm just kind of saying that's how it feels for me. So, it's kind of neat. But uh, Murkrow and Oddish are here. I might turn the AR mode off, although I'm kind of enjoying it tonight. But my phone beeps every time I do it, I think. So, we can collect more things from the stops. Pillar of Love, that's pretty nice. It's a pro pros for me at the point, this point. Hmm. Extra drills here. Yeah, this would be a pretty sweet place to live. I, need a, I thought I turned my WhatsApp off, sorry about that. I thought I turned the notifications off. But these apps can be kind of persistent. This is like a taco place, let's see. Taco Loco Waterfall. Yeah, Laguna Beach is super liberal with COVID. I love it. <laughs> I do have my wallet with me, so I could eat something here. Um, I could take on this gym too, because all the mons are kind of low, uh, low what is it? Yeah, low CP. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get a battle in. And you can see me when I do this. I definitely feel the kind of weird factor of streaming Pokemon Go and just like play playing in public because it's time is kind of gone. It's not like 
It's not like this is peak Pokemon Go experience or time by any means, so. I just enjoy it. Just a neat mode of expression. I submitted an app to be a moderator on the Pokemon Reddit Discord server, so we'll see if that's accepted or not. Um, it'd be kind of interesting. These communities definitely need moderatorship. I know, I've been a moderator for a different uh, website and forum server. So, we'll see. Wow, that took it out in one. Flareon versus Tyranitar. Maybe that's like the only time Flareon's ever triumphed over Tyranitar. It'd be kind of cool if we had a database for that sort of thing, I think. Like matchups, like actual matchups. I think we can switch out. Okay, no, not really. Let's go to Excadrill. That should be, yeah. That two, two hit. Yeah. I woke up with a bit of congestion today and kind of felt like fear about COVID, but my mom has allergies too, and uh, I'm kind of feeling it right now too. I'm kind of rubbing my nose. But I think it's just like summer allergies. So. So. Cool. Rattle the Excadrill here. Maybe things are winding down. At least the area I'm in right now, it seems like more uh, living area. Maybe I should have gone the other way. Excadrill versus Excadrill. I think Excadrill is part of the recent Sword and Shield raid, like the competitive raids. Um, which is kind of interesting. Because Excadrill was like amazing uh, black and white competitive, if I remember that. I played a lot on a simulator there and got really high up the ladder at one point. Like top 10 out of 100,000 people. <laughs> Not my finest accomplishment to date. Not my finest, but still pretty uh, like pleased with it in a sort of sort of shallow way. So back when I was in college, should have been studying, working hard, working harder. Yeah, Laguna Beach is cool. All right, cool. Well, we defeated the gym single-handedly. Uh, the lonely achiever. That's what I am here. So let's put uh, let's put Venusaur. And collect from the stop just because to the victor belong the spoils, right? Or we can't. I guess I already did. Okay. Well. Let's see. I can't tell which way I'm going anymore. I think behind me was where all the action was, really. And then ahead, it seems a little more like the... Um, more uh, suburban area. There's a Ralph's straight ahead. Which wouldn't be bad to go to, because I could start doing groceries more. And... Uh, Just smelled something that smelled like spaghetti, which sounds nice right now. Yeah, I don't know what I'll eat. We got, got a 1K M egg hatch. Effectively a 1K M egg. Technically 2K M. We get a chimchar. Three stars, yep. So it goes with those eggs. Pillar of love again. Another egg. So we can put another, come on, an egg. We can put another egg in the incubator now. Oh, it says it's 0.7 km, huh? So it doesn't go all the way. Or now it's point, it's 3.5, wait. What? Oh, that's 0.7, okay. Okay, so I guess they, uh, Reduce, maybe now that COVID's winding down, they reduce the amount of steps 
that uh, they increase the amount of steps that you have to do closer to the original amount. So, okay. Well, I don't know if I have any ambitions to go to the beach specifically. I was really close to it up ahead, but Laguna Chessboard, it's kind of interesting. I'm wondering if I could play this effectively with gloves on. My uh, hands have started to ache a little bit again. There's that Parasect. It smells so good here, man. Man, oh man. This must be where I ate last time. It just looks really familiar. It smells really awesome. Oh, man. That's torture. <laughs> I wish, uh, I wish you could smell on the other end of this, as you're watching. If you're watching. If anyone is watching. I have started watching my videos, like, fully through more. I mean, I'm starting to understand, you know, like, half an hour is a long time to sit through, so... Um, I'm not, like, insulted at all that my streams, you know, they don't get, a. Uh, like the average view time isn't like anywhere close to that number. Cause YouTube's just kind of like that. I mean, there's good content and then there's bad content. Mine's kind of bad content in terms of the amount of views they get. Um, the good content tends to be like really well worked on and polished and edited and all that. My, my uploads are quite raw. Um, for example, I would edit out like I would edit out much tact. I would edit out very tactically if I were in that game. Here, I would uh, get rid of like when I get texts and stuff, or I would just turn it off outright before streaming. Uh, I wouldn't even be playing this game probably if I were that into it. Um, but they don't say hate the game. They say hate the game, not the player. I don't know what they say. I don't know why I'm trying to hit this stop here. Fish bench. Kind of cool, I didn't see it in real life, but this is good enough. So. Yeah, up all the, I see like breweries and bars and restaurants here are open. I was probably, I should probably come and hang out in areas like this more. I'm not seeing where the Thai Buddha is, it'd be nice to know, but. Hmm. There's a pizza bar right ahead, but I think it looks closed. Go a slightly different way here. Go to the left. I put 50 minutes in the meter, so. There's some interesting uh, things on the interface there that I didn't see before. It looked like an arrow on the bottom left. We already passed the chessboard here. Kind of cool. My chess record is better than my Pokemon record. I've actually placed first place in a chess tournament first grade. That was the peak of my competitive career to date. <laughs> um, let's see. Right horn. I could walk closer to the ocean. You could hear the water. There just aren't any moms over there, but they could appear, I guess. Not out of the realm of probability. Spinarak. It's like it's moving back. It's moving backwards as I approach it. Yeah, so we can uh, we could definitely go to on the beach here. I'm sure now you can hear the water. Wow, Laguna Beach is beautiful. Yeah, I remember. I remember hanging out. I remember. <clears throat> Let's see. You can see the sand, maybe. You should be able to. I guess not though. That's kind of interesting. Oh well. Um, we'll walk a little bit on the beach and then kind of see if anything wants to show up. It's 9.32, so I have 18 minutes left on my meter. But then I had the thought that like, maybe you should spend 
at least as long at a place that it took to get there. So it took me an hour to get here. Um, but maybe you should spend like an hour at the place you're staying, you know? <laughs> There's a sun gas for me, it's like nighttime. It's pretty funny. And that appears like on the water, so. There are water, there are Pokemon on the water here. We can stay on the beach a little longer. Laguna, so nice, man. So nice. I would not at all mind living here, I tell you that. I just stepped on a ball. Some kind of ball, huh. It's like a rubber ball. Kind of interesting. So this is about where we started. Oh, there's a Zeb Striker there, that's awesome. I, uh, I remember catching uh, Blitzels with my friend Min in uh, Santa Barbara, on the UC Santa Barbara campus, and we both went to that school. Slowpoke, Cantonian Slowpoke. It's a couple of Chin Chows. But, I guess, uh, I kind of want to beat this up, Striker. Let's go, yeah. Shiny Flygon. Let's do that. So cool. Shiny Flygon looks so cool. There you go. Nice shine. Zub Striker. I always thought Zub Striker is a cool Pokemon. You can learn like Flame Charge. And, you know, it's just like a physical electric type. And I don't remember what its like speed is or how good it is, but. Can't be that bad. I don't need to take over uh, another gym here. Like, take over multiple gyms a night. That's like, you're going raiding at that point, but not max raiding. You're not like actual Pokemon Go raiding. It's a different kind of raid. It's an underrated an earthquake off there. All right, cool. Well, we are getting this 